Welcome back to This Is Your Life, and I am Queen Von Shea, and I will be doing a reading for the sign of Aries regarding who is fantasizing about you and why. So what I would like to do is the first um, few cards that pop out, the top two elements will be the um, sign that's um, fantasizing about you, Aries, okay? So, um, ask for a couple of more cards. Okay, Harry, so we have um, Aries and Libra in Virgo here. So, confirmation with Aries coming out, okay? So, the top um, two elements that are um, fantasizing about you, Aries, is air and earth, okay? We have Libra here with the justice card, and we also have Virgo here, okay? So, Aries, it could be air as well as earth for some of you that's fantasizing about the Aries, okay? Mm, mm -hmm. And at the bottom of the deck, we have the King of Swords, and that's Taurus, and that is also Gemini. So, that's more confirmation with earth as well as air, okay? That's fantasizing about you, Aries. Okay, so now let's see exactly what are they fantasizing about? Because it doesn't always have to be, you know what I'm saying, sex, even though that's probably what most people would fantasize about, but it doesn't have to always be that. So, what, why, fantasizing about Aries? Mm. Okay. <laughs> okay, so, interesting. So we have the two of um, pentacles, okay? And it's right up under um, justice. And it's like this scale right here, this balancing scale. And on here, it also says balance, okay? So we have um, more earth here okay so two of pentacles balance and then the justice card so aries when it comes to you the person that's fantasizing about you is trying to figure out how to balance um the situation out Okay. And even though this is um, earth right here, and I said it was earth and it was um, air, let's go over here. All right, so right here for you, Aries, regarding um, who's fantasizing about you, we have the um, Nine of Pentacles, which is obviously more Earth, but right here we have the Five of Cups, and this is Scorpio, so Aries... It's possible the air or the earth sign could be fantasizing about 
what was um, what you guys had because the five of cups it says loss so Aries it could have been like a, a Virgo you were talking to some type of earth sign and they fantasizing about what was and no longer is sadness grief heartbreak yeah loneliness they yeah they fantasizing about what was Mm -hmm. it sucks that sucks I don't like that Let's try these right here. Let's try the um, romance angel cards. Oh, poor Ting Ting. Oh, no, something wrong. All right. Can I get a couple of cards for Aries regarding who's fantasizing about them and why? Can I get a couple of cards, universe, for Aries regarding who's fantasizing about them and why? Okay, so we got let your friends help you. Ask for and accept support from others. So I'm feeling like this right here is going to be for the um, Virgo, the earth sign that lost, that's fantasizing about Aries, about the lost um, relationship. And it says, let your friends help you. Ask for and accept support from others. So whoever is dealing with this loss, um, regarding the Aries, it's, it's hitting them, it's hitting them pretty hard. It's hitting them pretty hard. A earth sign, it's hitting the earth sign pretty hard, or even a um, air sign pretty hard regarding that loss. I'm sorry. Yeah, they fantasizing about what was. Oh, poor Ting Ting. Can I get anything else? Anything else for Aries regarding who's fantasizing about them and why? Anything else? Is that it? Mm. Um, something about control, like little control issues wanted to come out. God damn it. Ah. Oh, this motherfucker all down the floor. <sighs> okay, so we got love yourself first. Your self respect makes you more romantically attractive. Okay, so <clears throat> this could go for either this side over here with the person who's fantasizing about the loss and not necessarily fantasizing because who fantasizes about a loss but more just dwelling on it you know what i'm saying so i also think this card is for you when it says love yourself first your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive okay and also it could also go over here too with the um with the balancing and the justice with the air sign over here and the um the earth sign it could also go over here too it says love yourself first your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive so that could be something that um you could be trying to balance out when it comes to fantasizing about the aries it's like 
you have to find a way to balance out both, okay? I'm fantasizing about the Aries. Is they fantasizing about me? But it's kind of like you got to love yourself first, and that find, and that makes you more romantically attractive. Okay. So now, moving forward, for both of these situations, can I get a card or two? Can I get two cards for Aries regarding who's fantasizing about them and why? Ugh. Eh, there we go. <sighs> It says, fall in love when you are ready, not when you're lonely. Damn. <laughs> Ain't that not a bitch? <laughs> um, <laughs> and I think um, that makes perfect sense <laughs> because it's like you have to find a balance. It's like I want to be in love, but... Not just because you lonely, you know what I'm saying? Be in love because it's love. Not just jumping into any old thing just to be like, I'm with somebody or, you know what I'm saying? And I can I can definitely understand that because a lot of times, you know what I'm saying, we be with people, you know what I'm saying, being in a relationship simply because we don't want to be by ourselves. We don't want to be lonely. And a lot of times people get comfortable with being uncomfortable in the situation. And that's not cool either. So, yeah, love yourself first. You know what I'm saying? It's more attractive. Shit, that's what they have said. Okay. And then this card right here, I can't see. It says, stop criticizing yourself. You are perfect just the way you are. Yeah. Oh, poor Tink Tink. Yeah. You going through this loss and boo-boo. You is criticizing yourself. You is small. You is... Um, damn, what did she say? You is small. You is important. You is lovable or something i don't even know but somebody know what i'm talking about you all that stop criticizing yourself it's gonna be okay we all suffer through some losses you know what i'm saying you are not alone it's gonna be all right omg oh lord why did i decide to do this you gonna get enough you gonna get enough. You should have just sat down and watched the movie. But now you wanna play with the cards. You wanna play with the cards. Okay, moving forward. Can I get a couple of cards to close out the reading for Aries regarding who's fantasizing them about them and why? Can I get a couple of cards to close out the reading? Regarding who's fantasizing about Aries and why? Universe? Anything? Key. That's what came out. It said key. So, um... Aries, I guess the key to balancing out what it is that you fantasizing about when it comes to the Aries is love yourself first. And remember that, you know, don't just hop, don't just don't want to just be in a relationship just because you worth more than that. You have the key to what it is that you want. Regarding this situation about fantasizing about the Aries, you have the key. Or do you think they got the key to your heart, boo boo? <laughs> I don't even know. Okay, can I get one card for Polo Tink Tink over here to close out their reading regarding? Dwelling on the past with the Aries. Can I get 
one card for that situation, please, universe. Is there anything you want poor Ting Ting to know moving forward? Can I get one card, please, to close out the reading? Regarding dwelling on the Aries, the loss. Shit. Come on now. I know you got something to say. Oh. Restoration. Restoration. Yeah. It's going to be all right. Um, whoever, whoever I'm talking to, if this is an earth sign, a, a Virgo, you know, it's going to be all right. If I'm speaking to a, um, a Scorpio, it's going to be all right. It's going to be all right, man. Mm. 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 Mm, sorry, I'm just trying to uh, think, should I get some more cards? I'm going to leave it at that, um, Aries, regarding who's fantasizing about you and why. All right, you guys, I am um, Queen Von Shea. And thank you for taking time out to listen. I'm out.